Rafa, always great to see you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Congratulations Thank on you. another win today. So three matches in, nine sets played. How would you assess your level so far? Well, I hear, I think I've, today I raised a little bit. My my level uh, was my best match so far for two sets and a half. I think I played that. At a very positive level, then at the end uh, was a little bit tougher, but uh, yeah, happy. I mean, um, I arrived here with uh, tough moments, uh, some tough moments after Rome. So um, happy to be in the fourth round with, without losing a set, and uh, the level of tennis, I think, uh, is increasing. Well, so after a match like that where, you know, third set gets a little tricky, but you finally close it out, how do you feel physically after a match like that? And, you know, how do you assess based on where you kind of expect to be at this stage of a tournament? <laughs> well, still still ready to hold for uh, physically for, for two hours and something now. I mean, then when things happen on my foot is another stuff. But in terms of physical performance, I think I, I can manage it well. Uh, I feel uh, enough well to, to, to play uh, for a while. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, in some way, even if I wanted to finish the, the third set a little bit faster, because I think I had my, my chances, I played a bad game with the 4-1. Uh, in some ways, it's good to have these uh, tough moments to and be through uh, because that helps. You talk so much about the perspective you have and you know how it's been tough for a couple of years. We didn't have full fans. This year, it's been incredible atmospheres, especially for your matches. You played at night, you played during the day. How does that kind of help you at this stage and just kind of enjoy well, you know, these think, parts uh, this part of my career it's um, have the fans here uh, supporting and uh, see again the full uh, crowds in every single court um, helps a lot the players the tournaments uh, our sport in general no uh, i think it's uh, have been a very tough couple of years honestly uh, in all ways, uh, and see again the, the people enjoying our sport is something uh, very, very special. Ralph, you always talk about being, being driven by doubts. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm curious how the doubts now compare to the ones earlier in your career. I mean, difference, but still. <laughs> uh, I, well, the only thing is uh, at the beginning of your career, everything is new, no? And, uh, different feelings because in some way of course you have doubt because you don't know if you will be able to to do it again because uh, or do it for the first time and that create you some some doubts but at the same time you have the energy uh, everything is new and uh, now it's a little bit different you know you can you can do it if if you add your best level but you have different kind of doubts in terms of uh, physical issues in terms of um, if you will be able to to raise your level when when you need it but uh, just try to to stay focused on uh, on the on the moment you know, on, on just day by day and trying to to do the things that i need to do to to give myself a chance to increase my level every single day and then tomorrow a day off to to practice to to do the the things the proper way and just try to be ready for for the next match going to be a tough one against felix well, one of the things, you know, I certainly love a lot of your fans and even some of the current players really enjoy and respect is the intensity you bring to every point. You talk to Iga Sviantek, she talks about how that's a motivation. Your coach, Carlos Moy, even said, if I had 50% of that intensity, I'd have been better in my career. What, where does that come from? Is that something players can learn or is that just natural? Well, probably, yes, <laughs> you can work on that. Uh... Of course, my level of intensity is not the same now than <laughs> uh, 15 years ago. But uh, I mean, it's, it's depending on the way you practice. Uh, I, from my point of view, um, you, you compete uh, the way you practice. And I always practice it with very high intensity. So then the matches you when you practice that way, you are able to, to play the matches uh, with that focus, with that, that intensity. Uh, and that's what you need uh, to achieve important things during every point. Intensity and incredible respect for the game, Rafa. There, there were a couple more incidents this week with players, Andre Rublev, Irina Camilia, Begu, one threw a racket, almost hit somebody. Another hit a ball, almost hit somebody. Uh, what's your reaction when you see that stuff? 
Well, we, we talked enough about, enough about that. Uh, I, I, people who knows me uh, knows that I don't like this kind of stuff, but I respect, uh, you know, uh, I, I see both things, you know, uh, in some way when you react uh, with uh, emotional stuff, um, even if it's in a negative way, uh, that creates a show. So in some way, uh, you're going to be in, in the social networks for a while, so that's in some way it's a promotion for, not, for our sport, even if, it, from my point of view, it's not a good promotion, but still a promotion. Uh, but, of course, from, from my perspective, uh, from my way to understand uh, the way that uh, we need to, to, to act on court, uh, is, is not good, no? but uh, I respect every, every reaction. Of course, uh, if it's not dangerous for the for the for the people who who is around. Well, I really love how you don't take any opponent for granted, I and mean, you give everybody their respect. But up next for you is Felix Oje Aliassim, who's been playing some terrific tennis as well. What are you expecting from that match? Well, he's a top ten player. He's having a, an amazing year. I think he's in a very high position on the on the race uh, this year. It's a round of 16, so uh, you can't expect an easy opponent there. So uh, I, I don't complain. I know it's going to be a tough match, but <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, I need to 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 play at my 100 percent and play um, uh, as close as possible to my best level if I want to keep having chances in in the tournament in general. So excited to play that match. Going to be a good test for me. So let's see. I just focus on try to to do my work well, and then let's see what can happen. Rafa, real quick, what do you think it's going to be like to see Uncle Tony in the other player box? I don't know if he's going to be on the box or not. <laughs> but if he's in the box, it's not no problem at all for me. No, uh, I mean uh, I have zero doubts about the feelings of my uncle uh, for my for myself. Uh, even if now he's helping uh, Felix, um, I don't know, he's a professional, but uh, I, I know uh, the feelings that he has uh, for me, you know, and uh, yeah, I have uh, zero problem with that, but at the same time, I know um, uh, probably he's going to do his job, but I am his nephew, so uh, even more than that <laughs> for all the things that we enjoyed together, so. I mean, I am sure that uh, even if he's working with another player, uh, for I, I think for him going to be difficult to, to yeah. want me to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Your fans love you. It, it is always great to spend time with you. Congratulations you. once again on the win today, and best of luck going forward. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.